I'm addicted to drugs. Diddy's best defense. This is Montana White with the Montana White Show. Hip hop, money, power, politics. Y'all know what to do. Hit that subscribe button because the only way out for Diddy is for him to, to declare that he's a drug addicted, abusing addict. That is it. He could go to the folks and tell them, look, man, I did all of this under the influence and I need to take some classes. What can they do? Now, barring any felonies, right? Let's just say drugs were involved and then he started talking about how addicted he is and how it altered his mind state and how he wasn't himself. Clearly, a man who's made millions and millions and millions of dollars could find some kind of reprieve. Now, this is not to say that he didn't do the things that he's been accused of being a freaky motherfucker, you know what I mean? But it would be a valid excuse that he made poor decisions while under the influence, right? And then, you know, everybody else could claim the same thing. You feel me? That's crazy because... That might be his only way out. Now, a couple of people will start speaking out and start saying that, yeah, yeah, man, even Luke, Uncle Luke, you know what I'm talking about? The big homie, the king of the freak offs. Luke said, yeah, he talked to a couple of people and they said they seen Diddy, you know, kind of sideways a couple of times. Now, that's understandable, all that money he had. You know, they say the boy was doing pink cocaine. He had 50 gallons of baby oil. He must have been hard or something. You feel me? But in any case, Diddy's best defense is to almost declare insanity. Reason being that he was high off drugs. And he can start naming all kind of drugs. Michael Jackson drugs. You feel what I'm talking about? I was high off that MJ. Nigga, that he <laughs> he. You feel me? It's Montana White with the Montana White Show. Hip hop, money, power, politics, y'all know what to do. This is being brought to you by the Black Golf Club, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I am out. I, I don't know that I could keep him off the stand. Uh, I, I think he is very eager to tell his story. And I think he will tell every part of his story, including what you see on the video. So I expect it's gonna be explained by the both of us. It's kind of breathtaking that what you're telling me is that Diddy is gonna take the stand and he will be cross-examined about this video, about the violence in the video, about the freak offs about allegedly blowing up a car, all of those things. That feels kind of dicey. He has his story, and he has a story that I think only he can tell in the way he can tell it in real time. And it's a human story, it's a story of, of, of love, it's a story of hurt, it's a story of heartbreak. I mean, when he describes that relationship, the word he uses more than any other word is heartbreak. He was heartbroken. She was heartbroken. 